Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a Go HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. Go to the navigation menu. Click more products. Click cloud functions. Click create function. So the environment, we have an option for first gen and second gen. Second gen is more advanced. So let's use the environment as second gen. And then we need to give a function name. So this is going to be a go function, go HTTP function. So I'm going to call it as hello, go HTTP. And the region I will leave it as default that is US central one. So and the authentication, so I will click the option allow unauthenticated invocations. Let's check the runtime and other configurations. So this is going to be the memory allocated and this is the CPU and maximum concurrent per instance is one and the auto scaling. So I'm going to specify the maximum number of instances as five, right? And this is going to be the runtime service account. I'm going to leave everything as default. So if you want to add any runtime environment variables, you can add that. So if you want to provide any build tools, you'll be able to provide it. So again, the connections, I'm going to allow all traffic, right? Click security. So we are going to use the Google Manage encryption key. And the image repository is going to be the Google Manage artifact, which is tree. Then click next. So I want a HTTP Go function. So I'm going to select the Go version 1.20, right? So it provides a sample code. So I'm just going to use the sample code. So let's review the code, right? So basically it is going to take a JSON as an input, right? So in the JSON and the name is name. So and if you provide any string, it is going to take that string. So it is going to decode it and then it is going to print the string what you provided as a message. So if there is any decoder failure, it is just going to print hello from cloud functions. From cloud functions. It's a very, very simple go function okay now let us go and deploy this click deploy it's creating the build so while it is deploying let's explore the other information here you will be able to see the metrics once the function is running right and here you'll be able to see the details of this function so you can see here the region information the memory allocated cpu allocated and what is the timeout set and what is the minimum instance and maximum instances and concurrency and what is the service account being used right so all these informations are provided in the details page and when you go to the source you'll be able to see the source function in .go as well as the go mode and if you have used any environment variables that you'll be able to see here and once it is deployed you will see get the trigger here because we are using a http trigger and here you'll find the information about the, the principles and the permission rules assigned to them. And here you'll be able to see the logs. Testing. So once it is deployed, so you'll be able to uh, generate a curl command, which can be executed in the cloud shell to trigger this function. So here it is, uh, the name is given as hello world. So rather we can give the name as thumb. And then it has generated the test command. So now the go HTTP cloud function has been successfully deployed. So and this is the trigger URL. Let's click that. So we can clearly see the go cloud function is successfully running and we, we got a message hello from cloud function let's test it in the cloud shell as well copy this activate the cloud shell paste the command 
and we could see it has printed the message hello Kavita as expected in this demo we have seen how to deploy a simple go HTTP function in GCP using the GCP console if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo